What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Stinky. Today, man, today is a sad day. Um, I got some shoes back from, from Nike. Nike, uh, basically, I, I shipped some shoes out to Nike, and uh, they were factory defected. Now, they went past the two-year mark on when you're supposed to be able to send your shoes in. Now, I didn't think that applied to me. I actually called corporate and talked to somebody and got a return label because if it's not within the two years when you type it in on the website, they won't even give you a return label. So I got off the phone with somebody from Nike corporate, told them that I was a, a sneaker head and that you know, my shoes sat in my closet for a long time. I never wore them. I didn't need that colorway for my outfit, what have you. So anyways, I should be exempt from that time frame because the shoes came directly from them blemished. Now I won these basically on a raffle. Um, you had to buy X amount of Nike apparel before you'd be able to buy the shoe. I bought it at, what was the name of the place? I don't even go there anymore. Um, oh man. Anyways, I'll remember what it was soon and I'll tell you guys. Um, I'll have to look it up, but it's a skate shop here in San Diego on 30th. Um, Overload. Overload is their name. So I'm honestly very disappointed in Overload for selling me these shoes. Um, you guys should know better than this, especially making me spend $100 worth of um, my hard-earned cash on some Nike apparel before I can even buy the shoe and then come like this. Like, I don't know. I've already had a video up showing you guys how Nike's going to trash and that these shoes um, came to me um, night basically factory defected so anyways let me show you the shoes they came in this box um, basically I had wrote my number on the box they wanted the RMA number or whatever they call it on the box so that way we couldn't get anything mixed up. So anyways, for Nike purposes, that is the return number. So basically I got the shoes back on their website. It even says that they don't ship your shoes back. But in this case, they ship my shoes back. Um, they said if it's if it's determined that it's not a factory defect or anything like that, they're just gonna dispose of the shoes. Well, anyways, they sent the shoes back to me. And they also sent me this card from Nike. Now, I haven't called this number yet. You see that number? You guys screenshot that, take that information. So like I said, I haven't called this number yet to complain, but it says, we appreciate the time you took to submit this product for claim investigation. Unfortunately, after a careful inspection, we found that the issue you've identified is not the result of a design manufacturer error. Now, I'm gonna show you guys the shoes. You're gonna all agree with me that this is a result of a design or manufacturer error. It's clear, you don't have to be a scientist to figure this out. It also says, because this item is not in line with our return guidelines, we are returning it to you. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at 1-800-344-6453. So there you have it, folks. Directly from Nike. Now here's the shoes that I'm talking about. They're the Nike Bordeaux. Now I was really pumped to get these because they were just a dope release and a dope colorway, you know? So the flaw, and if you guys have seen the other video, um, basically is on the right 
the right shoe. Now, if you look right here, and I'll show you guys again, you see that? The stitch never made it inside. Never, ever. Like, these shoes are brand new, you know? Um, so, when it, in my opinion, if you look at the toe box, the toe box is crooked. You can even see it up against this shoe. Let me get rid of this box. Anyways, this is all authentic. I got it from Overload. They're a, a factory uh, dealer um, for Nike. So if you look right here, you can see the toe box. So basically the shoe, in my opinion, you see the, the dot right here? You see how it's not straight? The whole thing is crooked. So in my opinion, <clears throat> this shoe was in the machine and, and something happened, obviously right here, and it caused it to throw everything off. So I'm, I'm a perfectionist and you know, the human eye can see anything perfectly. You can tell when something is off. So the only part of the shoe that I look at is the toe box when I'm wearing the shoe. So I know for a fact that these are crooked you know, um, I don't know if you could see that exactly, but let me show you some other Nikes that I have right here. I pretty much only wear Nike Air Jordan 1s. And you can look at that. You can see that the dots go straight towards the center, like that center dot line. It lines up directly with the center of the shoe, okay? Every shoe is perfect toe box. It's not crooked. You know what I mean? They're, they're perfect. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but, but these toe boxes are a prime example of perfect. Okay? See that? The reason I don't have the lace, laces in these because I just uh, washed my shoes with some MGK. I don't have the F, FZ150 yet, but the MGK does work good. Shout out MGK. So these shoes are just trash, man. Look at that toe box, dude. It's this shoe, look at the toe box. Look, look, is that crooked? This shoe is good. The one over here is nice. You can see that. But this one's off. Look at that. Look at it. it. It goes to the right. You can see it right at that angle right there. Look at that. What's up with that? So anyways, the whole thing is, is lopsided. You can see it right there. The center is supposed to be in the center of the shoe. So anyways, whatever happened, when this thing went through the machine or the sewing process, somebody got lazy and just pumped it through. Look at that. They just pumped it through and they didn't give a shit. I mean, honestly, it's still a good shoe. It's still a good shoe, you know? Like, it's still gonna perform and, and, and work right. It's just when I spend this much money on a pair of Air Jordans, Bordeaux, everything should be perfect, everything. So a lot of things are perfect on this shoe, I'll give you that, except for this. What is that? And the toe box, man. So, you know, I'm really, really disappointed in Nike for these. In my opinion, they should have fixed these or, or sent me a new pair or, or a voucher for a new pair or something. Um, literally 90% of my closet is filled with Air Jordan 1s. And I take care of my shoes. Like you can already see like I've been sliding in and out of these probably a little bit too much. So it's already got like a little sign of wear. And I doubt these are even two years old. So, you know, that's my fault. But these shoes are perfect. Look at that. That shouldn't even be happening. So I don't know. Nike's going to... 
oops, Nike's going to trash and uh, these Bordeaux's, unfortunately, like I just got done dirty. Um, unfortunately, that, it, Fergie, stop it. Stop, I'm on, I'm on camera right now, boo-boo, okay? <laughs> it's my dog barking like crazy. So there it is, fam. Nike's gone to trash. They don't even care about their customers no more. Um, it's sad. It's a sad day in the community that Nike can't even just hook you up with the voucher and say that this was a factory blem. You know? This is obviously a factory blem. I wasn't wearing these or pulled my knife out and pulled any of that stuff out. Nothing like that, man. This is all legit. This is how they come. And even the people from Overload even know because I reached out to them and told them that I wasn't happy. And they didn't do nothing for me. Nothing. So they told me to deal with Nike on it. And I didn't know how to deal with Nike because they didn't put me in touch with their distributor. And, you know, they just sat in my closet and just collected time. And now it's past the two years. And honestly, I don't even think they would even care about the two year thing because they would say that this isn't a, a factory flaw or a factory blem. And that's supposedly what they warranty is their factory blems that come from the factory, something wrong with them, you know? So it's obvious that this toe box is crooked as hell. And then also the midsole's not even, you know, it's got that hem that didn't even go in or that stitch that didn't even go in. So, you know, I'm disgusted with Nike. Honestly, I want to, I want to sell all my Nikes on the resale market and, um, just stop fucking with them because I don't, I don't like their, I don't like their, the, who they are anymore. Um, you know, I'd rather just run Vans. Like you can see what I'm wearing on my feet right now. You know what I mean? I got all J's. That's what I wear, man. So I can't believe these people didn't hook me up and take care of me. So I told them that I already made a YouTube video about it and then I'm going to make another YouTube video. So shame on you, Nike. All you had to do was just take care of your customers, which it's clear that you do not do and you don't care about us. So, folks, don't let this happen to you if you're a sneakerhead. Like, check your shoes right away. Like, even when you're about ready to walk out of the store with them, like, you expect them to be good, you know? You don't even know. Like, I didn't get to try these on or any stuff like that where you get to see these kind of things. They just tell you, here you go, you won, you know? So you have to prepay for them <clears throat> and you get them. And it's not like you get to try them on in the store, like I said, where you get to see these things. So, you know, you guys let me know in the comments, like, is is this okay? Is that is that how this toe box is supposed to be on the Bordeaux? Like, I look at them online and I don't see this on any of the pictures. None of them. It's just straight cockeyed. So is this acceptable? Am I tripping out? I mean, honestly, nobody's gonna see these flaws when they're on feet. No one's gonna be micro examining my shoes. So theoretically, I can still wear them and still use them. But I'm just, I'm, I'm just super disappointed in Nike. You know, especially a nice, not even a low or anything. You know what I mean? Like this is like their signature shoe. How do you, how do you f that up, man? Nike, I'm so disappointed in you, man. Like, yeah. Anyways, there you have it, folks. Let me know what you think, and I'll drop some more sneaker videos soon. Later.